What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics. These are 100 slabs that you can get at 100 bucks or less. If you missed the first video, I'll put a link here so you can watch it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and consider joining. This is basically my Patreon, since people always ask, hey, you should get a Patreon going. This is what I got. It's through YouTube. It's the price of coffee a month. You get membership perks, early videos, polls, all sorts of stuff. It goes a pretty long way. Let's get us started here with Captain America issue 25. I'm talking about the 2007 one, which is the death of Captain America. Modern classic, as it were. Well, it is down to a $45 book with possible even a chance that you might be able to squeak it for 40 bucks. That is pretty crazy. and That definitely solidifies it as a good buy. Detective Comics 850. This is that first unofficial Gotham City Sirens team up you know, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Harley. Um, 80 bucks. And great iconic cover with Hush in the background. Killer book, man. Venom, number seven. It's the first cameo of Dylan Brock. And this is another book which has come down to reality. It is now a very affordable book at a mere 65 bucks for a perfect 9.8. Detective Comics, $5.99. It's the first appearance of Henry Ducard. I've mentioned this book on this channel before when I talked about underrated slabs. And it is actually only a $75 to about an $80 9.8, which is funny because of how hard it is to get a 9.8 for that book. But hey, I don't make these prices. Free Comic Book Day 2022 Avengers slash X-Men slash Eternals dash Judgment Day number one. Quite a title. But it is a little bit of a big deal because it's the first appearance of Bane's, first appearance of Blade's, excuse me, daughter, Brielle, known as Bloodline. And there could be some potential for that character in the future. 70 bucks, not bad. Wonder Woman 82. Bet you didn't think you could get a classic gorgeous Boland cover for just 100 bucks. Well, this is one iconic Ares cover, gorgeous colors. Gorgeous bowling style. This is a huge win, and it's just a hundred bucks. Spider-Man number one. This is really one of those must-haves in every collection. I'm talking about the silver, the regular. The silver is about a ninety-dollar book in a nine-eight. The regular, same thing, ninety bucks. I know a lot of people try to get them all. Good luck trying to get the platinum, though. That's much more. Green Lantern twenty is the first cameo of Jessica Cruz, and this has. Climbed all the way down and plateaued. I think it's at dead bottom, a hundred bucks. You can get the first appearance of Jessica Cruz for a hundred bucks. Must have for DC fans, a must must have for Green Lantern collections. X-Men number one, you knew that would be here. I'm talking about the 1991. There's uh, four different main covers. There's a fold out cover. A lot of people like to collect either the main four or maybe even the fifth one. And they range from anywhere to like 70 bucks all the way to 100 The Magneto cover usually being the $100 one. Same with the uh, fold-out one. Really good buy and a really fun one to try to get them all. Shadow of the Bat, number one. First appearance of Victor Zaz. It's just a $70 book as it stands right now. Really good, iconic character for the Batman villain universe. Kind of a must-have. Amazing Spider-Man 363, it's the first appearance, excuse me, it's the third appearance of Carnage. Carnage books are at their lowest possible points. So it's a good time to pick it up. 80 bucks for that awesome Bagley cover. Amazing Spider-Man 362, which is the second appearance of Carnage, another amazing Bagley cover, is just a little bit more at 90 bucks. I never thought I'd see those at 100 or less, so that is a really, really, really good buy. Crisis on Infinite Earths number one. You can get the first appearance of Monitor. At first, there's a lot of things that go on in that book. You can get that for a hundred bucks. Crisis one. That is a pretty killer deal and a surprise when I was researching this. How about Spawn number nine, the first appearance of Angela? Another book right at that $100 mark. Really good buy. We're back to like the 2018, 2019 prices for that. That is a really fair deal for a book that's kind of a big deal. How about Invincible Iron Man, number one? Gorgeous cover. It's also the first cover of Riri Williams. And it's an $80 book, which is a book that's come down quite a lot. And I think this is the lowest point it can possibly go. 
So that's a really not only good time to pick up the book, but it's kind of a modern, classic, iconic one that you want. Fury of Firestorm, number one. Here's another great number one. This one's actually not really a key, but the fact that it is a number one from the 80s and you can get it for a reasonable price makes it a good buy. 90 bucks, you can get this issue number one. Um, gorgeous cover, blue background and everything. Totally a good buy. Infinite Crisis number five, the first appearance of the Blue Beetle, or the new Blue Beetle as we know it. So there's the Jim Lee variant, which is well over 100 bucks. Sorry, you're probably not going to get that one for affordable price, but there's a George Perez cover in which Blue Beetle's not on the cover. That one is less than half of the value, and it's actually only like a $70 book. $70, 9.8, you can get the, appearance, the first appearance of the new Blue Beetle. Wow. How about Spider-Gwen number one, which is the premiere issue. Another issue number one here that's a bit of a big deal with a very popular character. We can get her number one for 85 bucks. Squeaks in under 100. Nice. How about Nightwing 93? If you don't know what this one is, it is a bit of a controversial one because Nightwing actually gets raped. Yes, you did hear me right. Um, Nightwing gets raped. Big deal. Big deal for Batman, DC, and Nightwing fans. Um... And it hovers over a hundred dollars, but you can get it for a hundred. It I've seen it happen. So if you're patient, you can get that awesome one. X Factor number five. This one blows my mind. First cameo of Apocalypse. It's a seventy-five dollar book, and I think the reason it's under a hundred is there's so many of them that have been submitted in that there's just a ton to choose from, which brings the price down. Supply and demand, baby. Well, you can get basically the first appearance of Apocalypse. For 75 bucks in the perfect grade. Pretty crazy. Green Lantern Volume 3, number one. This is the return of the Green Lanterns and that new run. I see these on eBay all the time. They always go for about 65 bucks. It's a really good buy uh, for a really great run. Must have for DC collectors and Green Lantern fans. And it's one that there's plenty out there, so you can almost always find one on eBay. Spider Man Unlimited, number one. We're doing a lot of number ones today. First appearance of Shriek, and it's a tie-in into the Maximum Carnage awesome run from the 90s. This book, while it is a major first appearance, well, a moderate first appearance, I'll say, is down to 65 bucks, making that a really good particular buy. Legends, number six, it's the first appearance of the Justice League International, the new Justice League team. Awesome cover. That is actually only $90. I do remember when that was higher, but it is down back to reality, as some people would say it, making that a really good Justice League buy. Star Wars, The High Republic, number one. First appearance of everybody. I'm not going to sit here and name them all because there's so many first appearances. Uh, a lot of people got smart and picked that one up. Uh, 9.8s are all the way down to 60 bucks, So that makes that a really good buy, I think. A nice Star Wars key. Kind of, I would almost consider it a must-have for Star Wars comic collectors. I know a lot of people are more into the Dark Horse stuff, but for the Marvel ones, it's one of the more recognizable, bigger ones that should be in a lot of collections, I think. And the last one I'm going to give you, join me for tomorrow for part three, is Oblivion Song number one. First appearance of Nathan Cole. This series has been rumored to be optioned and taken back and rumored to be optioned and taken back so it could happen regardless who cares if it gets turned into a tv show it was a great run solid critically acclaimed thing and issue number one you can get it for a measly 40 bucks that's almost the cost of getting the book and then paying to get it cleaned and pressed and graded in fact i think it is the cost of that so that is a what we call a no-brainer buy oblivion song number one Guys, do not forget, tomorrow we're going to do part three, and tonight I'm going to be doing a claim sale with Dynamite Comics, probably going to be starting around 9 p.m. Eastern, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a Christmas holiday special, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and keep on hunting.